Good morning. I'm going to show you how to add custom video resolutions in Windows. I don't know which versions of Windows. I know it works in XP and Windows 7. I uh, presume not much else has changed. I'm using an old CRT with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. Uh, here's all the list of my resolutions. Most of those were not there before. And some of them didn't use a de uh, refresh rate that I liked. So I was able to add that in also. Now I was looking at this. Uh, trying to figure out something to put in. And I don't know what. So I'm going to make one up. Uh, somewhere between 1440 and 1600 maybe. So let's make a 1520. Where's my calculator? Fifteen twenty. As I said, my ratio is four to three. You can do whatever you want, whatever works for your monitor. If you don't know if it works or not, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it. <laughs> but me, I don't care. Uh, so divide that by four, multiply by three. Gives me 1140. 1520 by 1140. Alright, so you go into the regedit. Oh, I'm already there, but let's see. Make that smaller. H key local machine system current control set control all good so far this the next one's at the clincher video all right now under video you can see I have five six keys uh, with the ATI thing you can look up your key somehow I'm gonna say that doesn't matter. Uh, under a key, you're probably going to have a 0 and a 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And you're looking for the one that has a whole bunch of values. That's the one I'm looking for, okay? All right, but we get rid of that. Pretend I don't know it's there, you know. Go to this first one. 0, 0, 0, nothing. 0, 0, 0, nothing. 1, nothing. 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 Oh, there's a lot. Okay. That's what we're looking for. And we're going to the Dal non standard modes. Uh both of these were full <laughs> when I uh when I started. You can see that these two are chopped short. That's because I removed some settings that I don't use. Uh, so, let's add some new ones. Uh, apparently, it doesn't matter which one you use. I had had issues where I, I had to do it twice. But I think maybe that's just because I didn't do a complete restart. I think I had tried to do the shortcut to refresh the memory, uh, to research, refresh the registry which is to end Explorer and then restart Explorer without completely exiting Windows. But as I said, uh, I think you've got to restart to make sure it sticks. All right. Now, if you know, these are actually uh, hex entry fields. You know, just uh, ask me to enter a byte in hexadecimal. That's 256. You know, I probably can't, whoop, <laughs> I probably can't type G's, no, because it's hex entry. Uh, but, but we're using decimal values. Uh, programmers get lazy sometimes, so there is to it, you know, you use what works. I had a field and you know, type numbers into it, all right. Uh, so I said 1520. And... 
The other one was 1140. Zero, 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 zero. Now this one, I'll open up one of my other ones to show you. That's probably, oh, not probably. It's a refresh rate. You can put a zero, zero, and it'll use your default. Uh, for most older systems, it's going to be 60. Uh, the new ones, I think they're trying to do weird stuff. Anyway, that's it for me to get. I'm going to I'm going to come back later and uh, try different refresh rates. I'll just hit OK for now. Well, just to stick it in there, I'll put in a 60 uh, so that I can show you it worked. But the thing is, zero zero gives me a uh, might give me more choices. May or may not. Clear that does. All right, so I got to end it here and restart. So see ya shortly. I'm back. I just restarted. Let's see what happened. Okay. Is that what we did? 11:40. Lost my calculator. <laughs> 1520 divided by 4 times 3, 1140, yeah, there it is. Uh, now this is perhaps a very important step. When you hit apply, get ready to hit the N key, which is for no, I don't want to keep this setting. If your screen goes wonky, that's just more risk of burning out your eyes and more importantly, uh, your monitor. If you have a good system, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. But the whole point is it's something that the monitor wasn't designed to do. All right. I, I keep changes now. The problem is that you can't tell that it worked uh, because I can't change the recording dimensions in one video. So, I'll start and stop that real quick. Okay. Uh, so there it is. There's my new resolution. And it worked. Uh, going to advanced settings. What I, was, I hate that it doesn't have a refresh rate on this screen. Where you right click your desktop and just go to screen resolution. It takes you to this screen, which doesn't have a refresh rate. So you have to go into advanced settings and under monitor. Yeah, and it did give me more choices. And I expect 75 to work. It did. And it's hard to say, but I probably don't expect 85 to work. I got my finger on the end key. It did not work. I could tell by the timing. Wonder what that did when I was recording. Anyway, that is that. I'll show you the other settings I have in there, though. Do -do -do -do. Again, this is the dial non-standard modes. You can see that one. I put a refresh rate of 85. This is the one that we were looking at. There's the one that we just did. And you know what? Now that I know it can do 75, that's the res that's the refresh rate I'm going to use from now on. So if I put that in as the only one, it's going to default to that. If it's not specified somewhere else. All, all the choices that I have are not specified here in these three things. I don't know where else. They can be specified. And I don't know how it pulls out the magic numbers it uses for refresh rates. For some things I have, those those three choices are what I consider my defaults, 60, 75, and 85. But I got other ones that'll offer me 59 and 72 and 100 up to 140. 
I know I can do up to 140. Uh, and I think there's some place that offers me 160, but I, I'm incapable of doing that. So but I don't know where in the Windows system that came from. And most of these are the ones I was customizing. 1440 by 1080, because I wanted a 1080p nice and handy, even though I'm in uh, 4 to 3 screen ratio. This one is sort of similar to that. What is it? Uh, regular widescreen is 1800 to 1080. And I wanted I wanted a screen that's wide enough to see a regular 1080p widescreen video without any horizontal pixel loss. So I had to have be 1800 pixels wide. Well, this is a standard resolution, but I just decided to put that into force it to switch to 75 rather than give me the choice of 60 or other stuff that didn't work. But that's all I got to say. You know, once again, this is a 1600 by 1200. Da 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 da. The last column is 75. Refresh rate. Okay, I want to add one more thing, which so always upset me that Windows does not have a 640 by 480 anymore. I need to see if that works. So go to RegEdit, and I'm going to run through this quickly again. HP Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, Video. Now here you just find the sub key, 0 or 1, that has all the settings rather than just a couple entries or nothing. We pick one of these, and I'm picking the one that has the least. I assume there's some maximum. <laughs> And uh, I'm not going to find out what it is. I'll stick this in the first one. All right, 0640 by 0480. To do, to do, to do. And I think I know the max refresh rate is 140. So I'm not going to bother. Just put zero. It'll go to my defaults. Better safe than sorry. And I can figure out what it is and then change it later. Hit OK. Close out. Hit OK. I'm hitting OK too much. <laughs> wow. Alright. Anyway, you just restart. Shut down, restart. Be back soon. I'm back. We just added that 640 by 480. And before I left the last video, I accidentally switched to 800 by 600. Go ahead and screen resolution and see what we got. It is not there. It did not take. The L non standard modes I put in the first one, 640, 480. That's a bummer. Anyway, I did want to test, add, put in yeah, this one that we just made up. Completely unheard of. I did go ahead and make it 75, so I'm going to switch to that now and make sure 
Well, I know it's going to go to 75. Uh, refresh rate. Here it is. Yeah, I have a monitor pop up that says 75. If I go into here, it's already set at 75, and I can't change it. And that's what I was saying. You don't want to specify it if you don't want, because you're missing you're missing out your other options. If I knew how to fix that, I'd tell you. I don't. But so generally, until I know what the maximum is, until I know what I'm going to use, I uh, just I just leave it zero zero for the refresh rate. Okay, that's it. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Now I just found out that subscriptions actually have a purpose. I need a hundred in order to live stream to YouTube. They don't care about my forty thousand views. They want hundred subscribers. So please subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.